Let's get weird into it. Number 10. The Bloop Back in 1997, the ocean basically pulled a jump scare on humanity. Somewhere in the South Pacific, hydrophones, those underwater microphones the Navy uses to spy on submarines, suddenly picked up this insanely loud, low-frequency noise. Scientists nicknamed it the Bloop. Cute name. Terrifying reality. This sound was so ridiculously loud it was detected by sensors over 3,000 miles apart. For perspective, if you banged two trash cans together on land, even the best mic wouldn't pick it up outside your neighborhood. The bloop was so strong, it basically shouted across the planet's oceans. Here's the creepy part. Its acoustic signature didn't look like some boring earthquake or random iceberg crash. It looked biological, like something alive, which led to the horrifying conclusion. If this was an animal, it would have to be bigger than a blue whale. And blue whales are already so massive, their hearts are literally the size of small cars. Of course, scientists later tried to calm everyone down by saying, oh, it was probably just icebergs cracking apart. Yeah, sure. A little ice cube just casually howled louder than any creature on Earth. Totally normal. But here's where it gets spooky. The bloops coordinates? Almost the exact same spot where author H.P. Lovecraft once described the underwater city of Rillie, the supposed resting place of Cthulhu. So either we picked up an iceberg, or something the Navy really doesn't want us to meet. Number 9. Julia. Just two years later, in 1999, the ocean dropped another spooky single. This one was named Julia. Less cute, way creepier. Julia was recorded by the same underwater monitoring system. And again, it was so loud that it basically echoed across the entire Pacific Ocean. That's like shouting into a pillow and somehow being heard in Australia. The official explanation? Probably a large iceberg running aground in Antarctica. Which is science speak for, we have no idea, but please stop asking questions. The sound was so eerie and drawn out that some researchers described it as moaning. Imagine the Earth itself sighing in despair. Not exactly reassuring. But the weirdest part isn't just the sound. Around the same time Julia was recorded, a satellite image supposedly showed a massive shadow moving through the waters near Antarctica. Now, was it a glitch? A chunk of ice? Or something colossal lurking under the ice shelf? Nobody knows but the Navy sure isn't giving us the full picture. Julia might not be as famous as the bloop, but among deep sea mysteries, it has that perfect, we definitely weren't supposed to hear this, vibe. Number eight, Upsweep. Now, unlike the one-hit wonders like Bloop and Julia, Upsweep is more like an ongoing horror series. First detected in 1991, it's a repeating sound that happens in bursts, kind of like an underwater alarm clock from hell. The sound is made up of long rising tones, like a siren or a ghost singing scales. Scientists have traced its origin to somewhere in the middle of the Pacific, near volcanic activity, but they still can't pin it down. It's seasonal too, getting louder during spring and fall, almost like the ocean is sticking to a schedule. Best theory? Lava hitting seawater in some deep volcanic vent. But here's the kicker. Even after decades, no one has found the exact source. And you'd think if it was just boring geology, the Navy wouldn't be so cagey about it. Instead, it keeps popping up on classified sonar logs like some unwanted ringtone the ocean refuses to turn off. Some oceanographers joke that upsweep sounds like a haunted submarine alarm, which is hilarious until you realize, what if it is an alarm? Not for us, but for something else, far below the waves. Number seven, slow down. In 1997, yep, same year as the bloop, because apparently the ocean was in a mood, Hydrophones picked up something nicknamed slowdown. Imagine a creepy tape recorder noise that starts high-pitched and then drags lower, like somebody pressing the slow motion button on a whale song. It lasted for several minutes, which in ocean sound terms is basically an eternity. And guess what? It was so powerful, it was detected over 3,000 kilometers away. Again, iceberg theory shows up like the world's most boring cover story. Oh, probably an iceberg scraping along the seafloor. Right because glaciers are out there writing horror movie soundtracks. What makes slowdown especially unsettling is the tone. It's not just random noise. It has this deliberate, eerie quality, like something enormous exhaling. If the bloop sounds like Godzilla burping, slowdown sounds like Godzilla sighing in disappointment. The sound came from near Antarctica, a place that's basically one giant do not enter sign. Between the hostile weather, uncharted trenches, and military research stations, it's the perfect place to hide something enormous. Coincidence? Yeah, sure. Number six, the train. 
This one's less famous, but way too strange to ignore. Recorded in 1997. Seriously, what was in the water that year? It's nicknamed the train. Why? Because it sounds exactly like a distant locomotive, but underwater, in the middle of nowhere. The audio is a long, rhythmic chugging noise, as if a ghost train decided to take a scenic route through the Pacific. The Navy never confirmed what caused it, and the best theory is again, ice. Yes, apparently everything is ice. Forget alien sea monsters, forget secret subs. No matter what creepy noise you hear, science will tell you it's just another frozen popsicle rubbing against rock. But the recording is so consistent, so patterned, that a lot of researchers aren't buying the iceberg excuse. Natural forces are chaotic. This? This sounded engineered, repetitive, almost like machinery. Now, let's play Connect the Dots, a massive mechanical sounding noise recorded by Navy equipment in international waters. Either somebody left a Titanic washing machine on spin cycle, or there's a classified project cruising around down there. And whatever it is, it's not meant for the public to know. Number five, the whistle. If the train was creepy industrial, the whistle is just plain unsettling. This noise was recorded in the Mariana Trench region. You know, the deepest part of the ocean. The place where sunlight never reaches and nightmare fuel is born. The sound itself is short but piercing. Like a high-pitched whistle echoing through an empty hallway. Except this hallway is seven miles underwater. The signature doesn't match any known marine animals, submarines, or geological events. It's just a whistle. Here's the problem. Whistling usually implies intent. It's the kind of noise you make on purpose, like signaling or calling out. So if something in the abyss is whistling, then either it's some weird resonance phenomenon, or something alive down there is trying to be heard. And fun fact, the Navy refuses to release the full recording, which is basically like saying, yeah, it's bad enough that we don't think you should hear it. That's comforting. Number four, the ping. So picture this. The Canadian military sends a team to the Arctic in 2016 after locals complain about a mysterious pinging noise coming from the seabed. Hunters said it scared away all the marine life. That's right, the whales, the seals, the fish all vanished, which is terrifying because when animals abandon an area, it usually means something really bad is going on. The sound itself, described as a high-pitched ping or hum, heard both underwater and through the hulls of boats. Creepy enough, but here's the kicker. When the Canadian Navy sent a submarine to investigate, they found nothing. No equipment, no wreckage, no explanation. The noise just stopped. Of course, theories flew around. Some said it was secret mining operations. Others blamed Greenpeace, because obviously environmental activists have access to sonar weapons now. But the most chilling explanation is also the simplest. Something down there wanted the area clear. And it worked. Imagine being the Navy diver who gets told, Go swim down there and check out the weird ping that even the animals are running away from. Hard pass. Number three, the bio twang. Jump to 2014, when researchers picked up a noise in the Mariana Trench region that sounded, well, ridiculous. They called it the bio twang because it literally sounded like a cartoon sound effect, a metallic boing mixed with a laser zap. At first, everyone laughed, because really, who takes a noise called bio twang seriously? but the signature was nothing like any machine, and way too patterned to be random geology. The sound repeated over and over, sometimes lasting for minutes, like some deep-sea jam session on loop. Eventually, researchers claimed it came from a species of baleen whale, which is interesting, since no known whale makes noises like a broken video game. Unless whales are secretly evolving into EDMDJS, that theory feels more like a guess than a fact. What's even stranger, is that the bio twang was recorded in an area where we don't usually see many whales. So if it was biological, we might be looking at a species nobody's officially documented yet. A species that communicates with cartoon noises at crushing ocean depth levels. Cute or terrifying, depending on your imagination. Number two, the quackers. If you thought bio twang sounded silly, just wait. During the Cold War, Soviet submarines started reporting mysterious noises under the Arctic ice. The sailors nicknamed them quackers because they sounded like ducks quacking underwater. But here's where it gets less funny. The sounds were loud, fast, and actively followed submarines. Like, imagine being in a nuclear sub under miles of ice and suddenly hearing a bunch of duck quacks getting closer and closer. But sonar shows nothing there. The Soviets were so freaked out they initially thought it was NATO's secret tracking tech. But decades later, 
no country has ever admitted to making the sound, and no animal explanation has ever fit. These quacks weren't random. They were responsive, almost playful. Some Russian veterans even said they felt chased by these things, describing them like underwater UFOs. To this day, nobody has explained them, which means the Navy isn't the only one with ocean noises they don't want to talk about. Number 1. The 52 Hertz Whale Out of all the ocean's mysteries, none is as haunting or heartbreaking as the 52 Hertz Whale. This isn't some thunderous roar that shakes the seafloor. It's a lonely call, recorded since the 1980s, at a frequency of 52 hertz. That's way higher than any known whale species, which usually sing between 10 and 40 hertz. Translation. No other whale can hear it. It's like being the only person at a party speaking a different language, yelling for attention while everyone else just ignores you. Hydrophones picked it up migrating across the Pacific year after year, like clockwork. Always calling, always unanswered. Scientists dubbed it the world's loneliest whale. And yeah, that's basically the saddest horror story the ocean could give us. But here's the part the Navy won't touch. What if it's not lonely? Because it's not actually a whale. Think about it. The sound doesn't match any known species. No one's ever seen the creature that makes it. And it's been calling for decades. Whales don't live that long without being spotted. So, maybe the 52 Hertz whale isn't a whale at all. Maybe it's something else. Something that's learned how to mimic whale calls just enough to mess with our sensors. A creature that's not lonely, but patient, waiting. And the Navy, they know exactly where it is. They just aren't saying. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.